cameraman and film director Vladimir Shevchenko went to film the Chernobyl disaster from the very first days of the accident. My dad says that Shevchenko was a beer of a man, friendly and with mustache. The cameraman worked for Central TV in Ukraine and had permission to travel everywhere in the Chernobyl zone. Like most visitors to the Chernobyl area, Shevchenko was not aware of the danger from radiation. He quickly became ill from it and was taken to the hospital shortly after returning from this trip. While in the hospital he met with my father. Shevchenko showed some of photos to my dad, who is a nuclear scientist. After looking at those photos, dad knew that the cameraman would probably never get out of the hospital. The photos showed him filming the reactor unprotected, wearing only a surgical mask. Recently abandoned places still look alive. Good luck in your road, says board in Chernobyl town. Newly arrived liquidators, still not aware what they're about to mess with. They all will learn it later. After 5,000 tons of sand borne and dolomite was dropped from helicopters, the risk of collapse of the unstable reactor has greatly increased. To straighten the foundation, they had to bore tunnels under the reactor to fill them later with concrete. Here are the miners at work. It obviously was hard to breathe through respirators. So most ignore it using safe breathing apparatus. The level of radiation was 10 ringgins per hour. Those days it was not considered high levels even though it was a million times greater than normal level. Here by robots at work. They pick up the radioactive graphite on the roof. Radiation level thousands of rentgens. Just 40 minutes of staying on the roof and human body begin fall to pieces. Filming on the roof, Shevchenko got his little dose of radiation. Here is me, eight helicopter pilot losing his bearing hitting the gibbet and falling down. All four crew members died. Gorbachev science advisor Evgeny Pelikov got 100 rams on the May 1st. 
1986 by climbing up on the roof of Unit 3 and looking at the cauldron to see what was happening. Well, I have had 30 kilograms lead on him and personal dosimeter. Shevchenko had on the camera and desired to film. When Shevchenko was dying, he said that he is only regret of things he didn't film in Chernobyl. Power engines that were forced on the scene, they were abandoned from the night of April 26, each exposing 10 30 rengens per hour, even 20 years after the accident. Standing close to them is still dangerous. Shevchenko died of dispersed cancer within weeks. His cameras had to be buried also, as they were so hopelessly radioactive. Shevchenko Volodymyr Makitovich, film director, Chernobyl, last film and my last breath, engraved on his gravestone.